Did you get the basket of goodies I sent you? I especially thought you would like the... What's wrong? You sound like you're in a bad mood. A break. You mean from each other? No, sure, I understand. Yeah, you're busy. I can put the brakes on for a while. No problem. Okay, bye. Hi. Um. Oh, wait, wait. Aren't you, aren't you the cop that was really cool with Allison? Yeah, we sort of met... What do you we... want? Well, we just wanted to check out some records from a case from 120 years ago. Yeah, we just wanted to take a look at the files. What? Fill out the form. We'll process a request and get back to you in a few weeks. A few weeks? We don't have a few weeks. We... That's how it works. Uh, excuse me. Man, we really don't have a lot of time, and, and we really would appreciate it if you'd do us a favor and just let us take a little peek. You think that you can just sweet-talk your way into anything, don't you? Just string people along to get what you need. Well, think again, Buster. You're not getting those files. Okay. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, my What's gosh. up with her? I, I don't know, but if we don't get past Cujo in there, we are done. Wait a second. I got an idea. Paradise. <sighs> Some paradise. Except you can't reach anybody and there's no way out. Which is why Lucy hasn't hurt me. Because she thinks I'm dead. They all think I'm dead. Yeah, well, Rebecca, you could have told me that when I got here, it would have saved us both a lot of trouble. What, are you hiding from me now? Is this some kind of a game? Well, you win. Game over, all right? Rebecca? Where the hell is she? Rebecca? Doc. Hey, it's, it's me. I, uh, I... I... I came here because I, I really, I needed to talk to you, and I thought this might could be a good place, you know, as good as any, and, uh, because I, I have this other idea that maybe it's a good idea to try and bring you back. I'm just not sure it's, it's going to work. Uh, so what I was hoping for is maybe you could let me know that you hear me, or at least you could try and find me, so then I'd know, and, and you could give me a sign that you heard me and that I'm trying real hard with this new idea, you know, so... so maybe a sign here for me, just a, a little sign. Anything? Hello there. Figured I'd find you here. Uh, hi. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing? I sort of just came here to, you know, talk to Doc. Well, I thought if I bring her, it might be a good way to reach Kevin. I want to try. This teamwork worked out once no, before. No, 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 no. I want to try, Lucy. No, Chris told you if you try uh, again, you could die. No! Ramsey's an idiot. It's going to take more than that to knock me off. Believe me. I'm not going to let you risk it. Absolutely not. I was fighting it before. I'm not fighting it now. I know how to do this. What is it in you? What is making you so damn determined to try to do this? You need to believe that Kevin's still out there. Kevin needs to know he's still looking for him. And I need to know that there's an end to this somewhere.
Come on, so, so what's up? What's the plan? Okay. I'm gonna distract your wife. You break in and get the files. Whoa, whoa, will I break in? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, why, why I gotta break in? Why do you get to talk and have to do the break in? Hey, easy. Because I'm more charming than you are. Oh, come on, please. In your dreams. Look, fine, fine. I'll... You got two more strikes. All right, I'll just slide in while she's not looking. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's, yeah, go. let's go. Let's go do it. <laughs> Don't treat me like some pushover kid. You're not getting into those files, and that's final. Actually, I uh, didn't come back for the files. Then why are you back? Well, I couldn't help see a minute ago that you were looked upset, and, well, I just kind of felt bad if I somehow made it worse. Are you serious? Listen, I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry and, and see if you're OK. I'm fine. Are you uh, sure? I mean, I mean, I know it's none of my business, but I would hate to be stuck down here all alone when I was upset about something. It's a guy. Ah, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Well, hey, you know what, if this makes you feel any better, we're not all dogs. Yeah, right. You're all sweet when pursuing a woman. And then we turn around and give you a little bit of attention back and you freak out and you run the other way. Do you know why I'm stuck working down here in this dungeon? Because of the guy? Ding, ding, you guessed it. I called in sick to work one day so that we could spend his day off together. And someone from work saw us. That is not good. And this is my punishment. All because I let my guard down and fall for some self-centered guy who wants to take a break. I mean, I did things with him that I've never... Oh, never mind. He doesn't care. Why should I, right? Well, hey, for whatever it's worth, I don't know who this guy is, but um, he doesn't deserve someone as nice as you. Thanks. I'm sorry I flipped out on you earlier. <laughs> no problem. I know what it feels like when someone does a 180 degree turn on you. Bingo. Rebecca Barrington. Oh, this is good. This is real good. So I didn't bore you with my bad relationship story? Uh, no. You didn't. <laughs> Actually, I've got one that'll make you sound like a vacation. A girl. Uh, yeah, a girl. She loves me. She loves me not. She tried to kill me. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad. Huh? Yeah. Feeling any better? Yeah. What was that? Hey, where's your friend? Stop you know, quiet me on this. It's nothing to do with you. Okay, this is what? this. Go. What? Ke <sighs> Kevin's missing. Allison is on trial for murder. Friends are turning on each other all over the place. Couples are broken up. And from what I remember, it's not supposed to be this way. I, I know that, I don't that, want but I... you or anyone else to lose what I lost, to feel what I'm feeling right now. And if it takes finding Kevin to end this, I will do it. I need to. I'm not asking you, Lucy Cole. I'm telling you. I'm finished. I love you, Ian Thornhart. I really do. And I'm, I have no idea what I would do without you. Ah. Well, you're going to be stuck with me for a while. Great. And you think that's bad? Wait till we get Kevin back. You're going to be stuck with him forever. All right. Come on, woman. Here we go, Rebecca. Time to give Dr. Collins back. He's got people waiting. OK, OK, so I haven't been the best company. You've had over 100 years to get used to this. I just got here, so give me a break. Rebecca? Well, I tell you, if you found a way out of here and you didn't tell me, then I'm really going to be mad. Wow. 
it's so quiet. Nothing to do but hear yourself think. All right, all right, Kevin, just, just, just get it together. You're fine, you're going to be fine. Everything's gonna work out fine. How did she do this for 120 years? It gets better. After the first 50 years or so. You came from the other room. There aren't any other rooms down here. Right, right. Um, upstairs. Probably uh, came from upstairs. Maybe no, we... it came from right around here. Uh, watch out for the rats! Oh, my God, where? Oh, God, hey, hey, rats! My gosh. Hey, well, easy. Hey, do you really think you need that Look, gun? If I see him, I'm shooting, all right? It's bad enough I'm stuck down here in this basement. All right, now I have to deal with rats. Right. What? <laughs> well, hey, easy. Hey, easy. What do you say we just come back up front here? You know how the rats are. They're more scared of us than we are of them. Yeah, you're probably right. Do you really think we could put that gun up? <sighs> Safety was on. Sorry, I should have told you. I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, uh, anyway, how, you, how are you feeling? Better. Thanks for listening. Hey, no problem. What's your name, anyway? Jack. Mine's Dory. Did you say Dory? This is just what we needed. You did that on purpose. What? The hide-and-seek routine. What, did you want to teach me another lesson? Of course not. I just decided to take a long walk. Besides, I only caught the end of your temper tantrum. That wasn't a tantrum. If I'd had a tantrum, you'd know it. Well, if you had had a tantrum, you'd have been entitled. I have a breakdown about once every, oh, 20 years or so. You had a front row seat for the last one. And I think I had something to do with that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rebecca. It's just that... I know. It takes some getting used to. Yes, and it's even hard to get used to the idea that I... I never see the people I care about again. How do you do it? I mean, you're able to conjure a smile. What do you, what do, you do? You just accept your fate? It's not so much about accepting my fate as it is learning to make the best of each moment. I wallowed in self-pity and dashed hopes plenty of times. But somehow I always managed to find a silver lining. And right now, you are that silver lining. Yeah, I've been the perfect guest. <laughs> you forget it's my calling to bring happiness into people's hearts. You just present a bigger challenge than most. I've been told that before. Mm, by Lucy? Well, she knows me. <laughs> That may be past tense. Kevin. No, no, no. Just let me get used to the possibility. I do have a confession to make, though. What? If I were here alone, I would go out of my mind. Well, the good news is, we're not alone. We're together. And I really do believe that's our silver lining. I also believe that we deserve a party. A party? What's the occasion? The occasion is right now. Wait, 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 wait. Just stop. Just for a second, please, listen. You know, maybe... Don't, because Kate is working on this. She's working on Rebecca's case, and, and Jack and Jamal are, are doing some research for her, and if Rebecca's exonerated, then maybe Jack will... please. I... Please. You, please. I'm scared to death here. I'm, uh, I'm really frightened of what might happen. And, yeah, I really hated Doc missing Christina's birthday. And I want him to come back because I miss him so much. My stomach hurts. But... I don't want to risk losing you. In fact, 
I cannot. I, I refuse to lose you, too. Where am I going? I told you I'm not going anywhere. But you don't know what will happen with this. I can take it. If I can't, I'll stop. It's easy. How? You don't know if that's possible? Yes, I do. So let's just make sure that Kevin doesn't miss any more birthday parties. I'll rush it through for you so you can get what you need on time. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. You're right. All guys aren't dogs. Don't forget it. Oh, man. I got the phone right here, dude. Thinking that rat was money. It was money. What's wrong with you? I, I just spent the last half hour scamming on my brother's girlfriend. Oh, come on, forget about that. We, we got enough here to blow Rebecca's case out of the water. Seriously? Seriously. Well, come on, let's get this to Kate. What? what? I'm sorry. Um, it's one thing to see you in a painting, but sitting here, you look exactly like Paige. And she was? She was your great, great, great something. Oh. She was my first love. Oh, my. And was she also? Yes. Yes. That, too. Mm. So what happened? Ooh, well, that's a long and ultimately incredible story. But it looks like we'll be here for a while, so someday I'll tell you. Did Paige like to dance? Yes. Actually, she did. Hmm. Me, on the other hand. Shall we? Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> well, you can't be that bad. <laughs> okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. One. Yes? I told you. <laughs> You know, Mark Twain was a terrible dancer, too. You knew Mark Twain? Yes. I sold him some candles to help him get over his writer's block. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I'm glad somebody thinks so. Oh, uh, oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. okay. Well, look, if the rest of the world didn't know about your life, I do now. Thank you. Thinking of Paige? No, actually, you don't dance like her at all. Lucy? No. I was thinking of you. I think you're a remarkable woman, Rebecca. And what I was really thinking is, if I have to be stuck in paradise, then I couldn't ask for better company. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Why isn't this working? Stop. What? Stop. What? What is it? I gotta try again. No, you don't. I, 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 I don't think. I don't think you're gonna reach him this way. What do you mean? I'm not. Of course, I'm gonna try and reach no. him. This way. No. Just stop. I, I, I just got this insane feeling that it's not going to work. I, I don't feel like Doc's going to try to come home anymore. I think, I think he stopped trying. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Superstition. 
heart. Next Port Charles. You said my my cousin died? What's he doing here? You want to tell him, Karen? Or you want me to? She's here. Allison's. Yeah, she's here. Did you miss any of Poor Charles this week? Be there for the SoapNet Marathon of all this week's Poor Charles episodes, Saturday at 4, followed by Soap Center. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.